It's noon. The prison where Aaron Hernandez was found dead yesterday, getting back to normal operations. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris McKinnon. And I'm Brianna Pitts. In for Kate Merrill. Inmates are allowed to have visitors, and they are not in lockdown. This, as we learn new details about what led up to the death of Hernandez. WBZ's Nicole Jacobs is live in Shirley with the very latest. Brianna, as things get back to normal here at the prison, prison officials say they will release no further information until this investigation is complete. This, as the apparent uh, suicide of Aaron Hernandez remains questionable for those close to him. Guilty of murder in the first degree. The Aaron Hernandez we saw two years ago, mouthing the words, you're wrong, at the jury's murder conviction, was much different than the 27-year-old overcome by emotion last week upon his murder acquittal. Not even a week after some saw a glimmer of hope for the former Patriot tight end, he was found hanging from a bedsheet in his Sousa Baranowski cell, later pronounced dead of an apparent suicide. He was uh, an eternal optimist. It's very hard for me to accept the fact that he may have committed suicide. More than 24 hours after the news broke, the official results from the state medical examiner are still unknown. But those close to Hernandez, even his former agent, questioning the events leading up to his death. Not the Aaron that I know. Our I team has uncovered startling details, with sources telling Cheryl Fiendaka the Bible verse John 3:16 was written on Hernandez's forehead, and that he may have smoked synthetic marijuana the night before his death. According to prison officials, the door to his cell was blocked from the inside. His attorneys are pushing for a full investigation. He was a gracious, kind, uh, generous uh, person. Similar observations from members of the the jury in his most recent trial also made the news shocking. It's really hard for me to swallow. This guy cannot be guilty. And there was more to come from the former football star, an upcoming appeal for his conviction in the murder of Odin Lloyd. Instead, it is his own death under investigation. Hernandez was not on suicide watch, and at this point, we're told still no suicide note has been found. Massachusetts State Police continue to investigate the situation. In Shirley, Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News.